Hi, congratulations on your new RV. We're really excited for you. Please make sure before you're signing that you bring the following items with you. If you are a cash buyer, please make sure that you bring a cashier's check, no personal checks at time of signing, or you may bring actual cash. If you're a finance customer, please make sure that you bring proof of insurance listing your specific lien holder. If you need that information, please call us ahead of time. Also, make sure that you bring all valid driver's license of all persons that will be listed on the title. If you have a trade that you're trading in with us, please make sure that you bring your 10 day payoff as well as your title and all persons who will be listed on the title of that trade. Um, arrive 30 minutes early before your appointment time so we can properly inspect your unit and also make sure that you have the fridge on and running prior to arrival. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 810-686-0710. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Hello, it's Mike Cotravens RV here to congratulate you on your Forest River Flagstaff T21DM HW high wall pop-up travel trailer. I'm going to walk you around it, show you how to use a few things, get the best out of your camping experience. I started by talking about arriving at the campsite. A couple things to take into consideration when putting your unit into the parking is where your water and power are going to be. Your power is going to be just in front of your tire. Your waters can be just behind your tire, so it'll be easy for you to access anything. You don't have to leave room for anything on the sides because everything's going to go up. So once we arrive, get our good parking spot. First thing we do is level our unit. Hand crank will bring this to the right up, to the left down. At the end of the hand crank, you also have a wheel that you can put on this. Just make sure you use some type of stop if you're parked at a campsite somewhere. But that wheel, you can push this around where you need it. Once we got our unit level, next thing we're gonna do is stabilize it. On the rear view unit, you got a couple scissor stabilizing jacks. Storage got a three quarter inch hand crank right here. Go ahead and put that on there, run these down. When I do, I'm gonna recommend stabilizing jack pads. Jack pads are gonna protect the feet of your stabilizing jacks from dirt and debris. Hot black top in the summer. Gonna better distribute the weight. Run them down just until they're taut on top of your stabilizing jack pad. Remember, we've already got the unit level. We don't want to change the level unless we just want to stabilize it. So run these down just until you've got some type of resistance on your hand crank. That's how stable you want it. Do both sides. Got our unit level and stable. We'll hook up our power and water. So in one of your storage, you'll store your power cord. Big long 30 amp cord here. Ready they go on is it'll go in to the left a little bit and then turn it to your right put your gray washer on at the end of that 30 amp service should you need to plug into 110 anywhere there's a 30 to 15 amp reducer that you can throw on the end of that Put your water your power hooked up before we hook your water up we're going to go ahead and set your camper up on both sides of the top you're going to have these to remove and a couple up front to unlatch. I've already done it ahead of time. Those unlatched. There's the last one. Hold on that. Get that unlatched. All of our latches are done. We're gonna come here and hit extend. As you see, extend is gonna start running this whole thing up. Back up so you can get a better view of this. So touch this when you can't see it and you'll see it. I'll put this out. As I'm running this up, stay back here and film this for a minute. Wait. Okay. If you, that's it. If you touch lose it. the screen, just touch it. Thank you. 
Alright, come me on this. Now at this point we're gonna go ahead and open this door. And open this rod door. I'll lift this whole wall up. Watching our door on the way. And then on the inside here, we will clamp these walls in. I'll get to that when I can reach it here in a second. Same thing down here. Lift this wall up. Clamp that in. That's not getting pretty easy. Got our sides clamped in. We can go ahead and attach our door together. Now you're going to want to make sure that this bottom door is closed before lifting that up because that door has to be over top of this. Let me let that down a little bit so I can take care of that. So now we'll bring those doors together. Clamp them. Now we'll work on our dormer. First thing we'll do is push up on this middle. See how that lifts up? Push our front out. Our sides. And make sure your lock is pulled back before lifting it. And this last one, a little easier with two hands. But what you're going to do here, you're going to grab this strap. Pull that down until it fits in there and then lock that in. And your dormer's all set up. Bathroom, we'll go ahead and lift that up. We're going to take this shower curtain. I'm going to get over here. I'm going to show you with two hands how to put that up here. One end's going to slide in there and the other will hook on here. Alright, so I'm going to bring this over. You see our metal slots? Come get as close as you can to show them up there. I'm going to slide these in up here. Easy with your shower curtain off it actually. And then this end. Clamp them on. That gives you your privacy curtain for your shower. All right, I'm gonna head outside and finish hooking up your water. Now we're set up inside. And come down here to where it says city water and grab our water pressure regulator. This water pressure regulator is gonna reduce the water pressure to 40 to 50 PSI, protect the lines in the unit. I always use this because you don't know what the water pressure is at different campsites. Hook that up. Hook up your hose. One more step before turning our hose on. And that's to make sure our drain plugs are in. And you've left it out the last time we were out camping. Get your rod back in there. The plumber's tape around it, not putty. Putty will gum up on you. Uh, inch and an eighth. Get that rod in there nice and snug. Once that's in there plugged, then you can go ahead and turn that hose on. Now, after that hose has been out for a little while, once you go inside and open up your water taps, same thing in your uh, sh shower area, open up that shower hose where your toilet is, get a nice steady flow of water going through there, shut them off, then you'll know your hot water heater is full and you can turn it on. If at any point your hot water heater doesn't seem to be working, come out here to look to see if either one of these reset valves has bubbled up. If it has, simply press it back in. Now let's say we're gonna go camping and we're not gonna use city water. We're gonna go dry camping. We're just gonna fill up our fresh water tank. In that case, just above our city water is our fresh water or potable water tank. No need for a water pressure regulator here. Simply use a hose to gravity fill it. Two ways to tell it's full. One, there's an overflow valve right here. Or two on the inside where you check the levels of your tanks. There's a fresh water button that'll tell you when that's full. When that is full, remove that hose. Then whenever you want to utilize that water, you'll turn on your water pump. 
Don't turn on your water pump and hook to city water. That is already pressurized. All right, now we're all set for power and water. Let me go ahead and walk you around the rest of the unit, starting here with, again, our fresh water connection, our city water connection. This is your power cord for your power lift. You have this one bar as your power lift. Um, next to that is your cable connection for uh, plugging it at campsites. Down here is going to be a fresh water drain. It'll be right on the tank. Over here, your power again, your hot water heater, your low point drain, it's gonna be right here. This is gonna be your kitchen sink drain. Up here, your outdoor shower, the safe glue for your furnace. Two things on that one, make sure it's never blocked, and two, if you are running it, uh, steer clear, it does get hot. The access to the back of your fridge area, again, your Slidable front storage. You also have a uh, wheel that you can put on the front. Uh, easily roll this unit around. You also have your storage up here, which will have your table, table, griddle, and griddle stand that hook up on the side over here. Okay, docking light. Again, your battery posts, make sure those haven't wiggled loose over time. Your propane does come with a cover. And a regulator, simply pointed toward the tank you wish to be using. Lefty loose it open, green means you got gas. Come around to your campsite, again, this side of that same storage. This is your shower drain. And here is your toilet. Walk through setting that up here in just a minute before we head inside. Again, your power for your lift, 110s, outdoor speaker, your antenna, quick connect propane. Here's your lip for your table, griddle, and stand. In your storage area here, again, your hand crank for your stabilizing jacks. A Forest River spatula as well as a freshwater filter and handle to change that out. Come around back, use your Wi Fi extender, spare tire with a cover, and keep your spare tire from dry rotting over time. We got our rear storage. Exhaust for your furnace And that about covers everything on the outside we'll Take a look on the inside All right coming up inside the unit first thing I like to point out is the fire extinguisher Make sure that you and everyone is camp with you knows the fire extinguisher is located by the entry doorway in case of emergency Above that's a template for your solar Leave that on there in case you ever decide to wire this entire thing for solar That's a template shows a Text where the wires at sound system so indoors and outdoors outdoor speakers indoor AM FM Bluetooth auxiliary USB ports nice system touch it once to mute it hold it in to stand by and say goodbye to the right a couple USBs to the right of that I'll start below that is our ceiling lights, flood lights, your Wi-Fi extender. Turn that on, and there's your password for that. That'll allow you to pick up the camp's Wi-Fi way at the back of the campsite. Up above this is our thermostat. Right, turn that on. Let's go straight to the AC. It's cool air coming out of there. Push that over to heat. Heat starts kicking out over here. Now you notice when I shut them off, AC is shut off quick first. 
then your heat pump's gonna run a little while before it shuts off. To the right of that is going to be, or to the left of that, is gonna be your breaker box and fuses. You got a variety in there, 7.5, 10, a 20, a 40, 30. Highly recommend grabbing a hand, variety of those, a handful of them, have them ready with you when you go camping. Coming around the corner here is a 110, self-explanatory microwave, storage down here. Again, your Dometic AC. Cable to 110, you want to set a TV up here. Lift up your bed by this handle. It's going to give you access to all of your water lines underneath here. Underneath your seat will be storage, accessible from here on both sides. Going back to our mattress, that is a heated mattress. So plug in right there and then plug into your 110 down here for your heated mattress. Speakers back there, a uh, smoke alarm. Over here, you can pull this down to, to hang uh, clothes on. And then over here, we have our little pantry. We have a long hook and a short one. Hang the long ones up top. And then around for short ones on the bottom. Let me do that real quick. So that's actually how that hangs. Over here we do have a vent. Um, open it up. Hand crank open here. Turn it on over here. Our sink. Make sure that we put that back down for travel. Do a hand like these. Oh, these are, excuse me. Here you will turn gas on, hold it in, get your spark right here. Same thing on both sides. That lights those up. Again, the shower area slash toilet I'm gonna do a quick video real quick here to show you how to use this toilet here so you can open and close this you always want to keep that closed and your lid down when using turn this inward and then when you flush you push this blue button and then after you flush close that back up put your lid down show you how to prepare this for usage how we're preparing our cartridge right here is where our level of water is going to be to get this ready to use what we're going to do is we're going to start by pulling this out in order to pull it out you must lift up on this bottom part we're going to grab this little piece here, push that back in, and pull the top out here. Now we will take this little piece and put that like that so we've got a wide enough mouth to fill. To bring it over to the left a little bit, put your fluid in until you see it full up here, and then you'll see it drain here and fill up here. So get this about three quarters full. Once that is, remove this piece. Put your cap back on. You can still move this. That is just preparing for flushing. Okay, so once we've got our, our flush water holding tank full of water, I think it'll hold up to like five gallons. We're gonna come in here and we are going to flush this a couple times. One at a time, flush it. Of course, you have to open this up. But flush this, it's gonna run some water, get some water down in there, and then you're gonna wanna add some deodorizing tabs 
that will sit down inside your um, holding tank down there. Utilize it, flush it when you need it, open up, flush. Um, gray tank will, for a shower, will drain somewhere else. Let's finish on the toilet here. And we're ready to dump. Again, lift up on this green handle. It's empty, so I can do this one handed, but normally this would be a little heavier. You bring it out. And as you see, there is a carrying handle. Carry it to wherever you're going to dump it. Some people just wait and dump them at home. When you get home or to the dump station, open that up. Open this end up. And then I'm right handed. So I will grab it with my right hand here, my left hand back here. When we tip this, when we push on this green, that green button is going to release and open up an airline that will allow this to drain. And go ahead and drain it. Get that all dumped out. Then recommend opening this up putting a little water in there close this back up don't squish hard but squish out a little bit and wash this out and redump until you're completely empty there nice and cleaned out when you're clean put your cap back on here put this cap back on turn that back around and re-enter it now remember sliding this in and it's just a safety thing. This is showing this to open. This must be straight in order to slide up in there. That's the usage on that. All right, so I'll put your pantry and your uh, remote for your heated mattress down in your storage. Remove your shower curtain. You want to mention on your fridge here real quick here's where you turn it on you can change it from ac to dc to auto auto means when you're plugged in it's running off electricity as soon as you unplug it's on gas or you can make it strictly gas if that light starts flashing when you're on gas you need to check your gas over here one through five being the coldest All right, let's go ahead and close the unit up. Let's start again. Reverse the process up here. We got our locks out, our sides down. Release that. Let's release some of the pressure here. Make sure these are in, so you don't scratch your wall. Same thing, putting them up. Make sure you have them pulled in. Pull this forward, grab this and pull it down, then you can get the rest from the outside. Head up here, unlock these. We're just reversing the process on everything. That seems stiff. Go ahead and lift your wall up a little bit. There he goes. Turn it back down. Before doing the front, make sure you unsnap your door here. Top my door so I can step out. Lay that in. Bottom door is closed. And that. And I'm just gonna hit retract. All the rest is power. So if we are out boondocking, we're gonna bring up our stabilizing jacks. As that comes down right here that is our gray tank that is our uh, shower water 
can dump that. Finish bringing this down. And just manually pull it out on that. We'll lock that again. I'll process this a little easier with two hands, but there we go. So lock everything up. We've got all our locks done. If we are out boondocking again, we are going to get up underneath here and dump that fresh water drain, which is again right there on your tank. And your last low point drain are right here. If you're done camping for the season, open up your hot water heater, lift up on this pressure release valve. That's gonna dump some hot water out of there. When that's done, go ahead and pull your drain plug. Make sure you put your door back on. Again, we thank you guys so much for your purchase. Hope you enjoy this Flagstaff for many years to come. Happy camping.